everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time as you can see here I've created a bit of a mess already I have decided I'd like to create some sort of altered envelope for each of my six signatures in my Wonderland journal and I've decided I would like to create an altered envelope for each of my six signatures in my current Wonderland journal I haven't completely decided exactly what I'm doing for each of those six envelopes, but I'm just nutting out some ideas. So I have here to my left my paper pad or what's left of it. And as you know, we're calling it the Wonderland Journal because we are using the Stamperia Wonderland paper pad. And I was trying to decide whether I wanted to use papers out of there for some of my envelopes. And I'm thinking I do. So I've had a little flick through. I still have these large... I've got my scraps in here as well, sorry. I do have my large cards here. And I'm not sure whether I want to use those. I'm thinking about using some of those for one of my envelopes. Um, I do have journaling tags in here still which are yet to be cut out um, and mostly that's all that's left and this is the back cover I have taken a couple of things out of the uh, with another idea in mind they're in a box to my left and that may be a future video but um, I kind of started that video and got sidetracked so okay I've been watching Gail Gustinelli she did a faux envelope video and I will link Gail's YouTube channel in the description below so you can pop over there and have a look at that it was very inspiring and came at a time where I was considering doing these six envelopes so I'm keen to have a little play with that idea I do have a couple of different size envelopes here. They are new envelopes. Um, some of the envelopes I have have addresses and things on them which I was worried about using on camera. So I did purchase these two sets of envelopes. One is an 11B, so it's 90 by 145 millimetres. And these are a C6 size, so it's 114 millimeters by 162 millimeters. And I want the envelopes that I do for this journal to be all different sizes. And so I've picked up a couple of extras, and you'll see those in future videos. And I was playing with, I had one of each of the envelopes out, so one of each of these. And I spotted this in my cupboard where I've got my stores and I checked it out it's actually almost the same size as the larger of the two so I've decided because it's different different color different texture it's a lot thicker I'm going to do that one instead of this one but by all means you could do whatever you like um so I'm going to set that one aside. I have looked at this little scrap that I have here. I don't even know how big it is. It's about one and five eighths, roughly. And what I'm thinking of doing is doing the smaller one vertically and doing the larger one horizontally. Again, changing them up a little bit. So I can use this strip for both envelopes. I haven't exactly worked out how I want to use that strip, but I know that I can get two envelopes out of one using that strip. And I was looking at these papers, and I'm wondering if I can use some of the images on the front cover. And I'm actually looking at these two, and I have noticed that these images up here are larger than the images down the bottom without this strip at the bottom so for instance I thought about using the fairy and these flowers on the right I'm hoping you can see and I'm off camera sorry guys 
um, these flowers and this fairy but because there's this strip at the bottom of the paper pad they're not quite the same height these ones are a little bit taller which meant if I wanted to use them for the vertical card or envelope sorry I would have to include that strip at the bottom which would be okay or I can use the unicorn and the wall texture on this side and combine the two which is what I'm thinking of doing for the vertical card so that means I need to cut them out and I'm going to use my Stanley knife and um, ruler because I find I get a straighter cut my guillotine I don't know I really don't know what's going on with it 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 cuts crooked it it has I'll show you so it's a fiskars or fiskars however you'd like to say it and it has this little wire that runs in the center I'm hoping you can see that and for some reason when I use it that little wire can shift slightly and I'm just noticing that I don't know whether there's a way of tightening it or whether I'm supposed to tighten it or whether it's a fault of the cutter um, but I'm just not getting the straight cut that I like and it's also the blade is also not as sharp as I would like at the moment and I don't know I feel like I swapped it out so many times it's costing me a small fortune not a large fortune but nevertheless you know money is money and when you think you've bought a crafting supply that's going to last you a while and it lets you down it's a little bit sad really whereas I use my knife I'm not sure where my little I think I just spotted it actually my smaller craft knife but I have this large one here because I've been using it for something else so you know what they say use what you have so I'm just lining up my ruler with the edge of these little cards now as I said this is the cover of this paper pad but it's just a, a normal paper really normal weight same weight as the papers inside I am noticing there's a little bit of glue across the edge so I may have to lift that who knows I may even distress the edges or not we'll see and then I'm going to do the same on this side just trying to make sure I'm on the line properly Check twice, cut once, isn't that what they say? Okay. Fabulous. And I have got more things than usual on my desk so I'm going to pop this back into the folder which I haven't done any more, more work on the folders that I was creating I've been busy with other things I seem to say that a lot I've been busy with other things because I have but <laughs> I was um watching a video back the other day before I posted it because I usually do that I watch them back and mainly so that I can edit out any bits that I think are going to bore you to tears really and I heard myself saying that and I was like have I said that on every video for the last 10 videos or am I imagining things so do I want to ink this now I was thinking about stenciling it but to do that I need to and that's what Gail did with her she stenciled hers 
which look beautiful and I really love the stencil that she used um, but I would have to create a pocket there and so I had actually thought about using that strip that I've just popped away thought about using that for my pocket And it's not going to cover. So could I use have here some beautifully yellowed book paper? Okay, so what I'm going to do is Just going to. I'm noticing I have a little bit of a. I'm hoping that's not an air bubble because that means my pages won't be joined together properly. So I'm, if they're not joined together properly, I do have. I don't know if you can see on camera. I do have a slight little pocket there that hasn't adhered properly. So I may have to sew the pocket once I've created it, which isn't a bad thing. I, I feel like I haven't done any sewing for quite some time. In actual fact, I've got things sitting in front of my sewing machine, another project I have in mind. Um, and, you know, one can only do that when they haven't used something for a while. They can only get away with sitting things in front of something when they're not using it. I could just do a torn edge here. I do like the torn edge. Which means maybe I could that little air pocket looks like it goes for quite quite a ways down the page, so tearing this little strip off isn't likely to make a difference with that. I feel like I have so many ideas and then I turn the camera on and I kind of draw a blank. I don't really know what that's about, but that's kind of how it's been. Okay, so what if... What if I make this the height of my envelope? Okay, and what I'm thinking is I might do some sort of decorative something maybe a collage or something on this paper and then use that as Gail did with hers as a second layer so what do I want to do with it let the ink while I think about it I'm going to ink around my envelope And this is a, 
a self-sealing envelope so it has a plastic seal protector over the adhesive here and I'm thinking I might just I might just cut that so that it's level just the horrible feeling that you guys weren't in focus then I'm hoping it was I might just cut that level I haven't decided whether to leave that there or whether maybe I could put some washi or something under there just to stop the envelope from closing I don't think the recipient would want to seal the envelope at any stage because then if they're popping stuff in here they can't access it so I might use a decorative washi across there which means I would need to take that off sorry guys thinking out loud just love the colors that are popping up from the table at me it's so pretty okay I often wonder if once I start the camera and I start inking, whether you guys cringe and go, oh gosh, she's at it again. I can't help it. It's just what I like. I like what I like. It's funny, when I first started doing videos, I had so much guilt about taking the time to ink. I felt like I was really really rushing whenever I did inking not that I'm not trying to go quickly or as quickly as possible now but I don't know I felt like I was running a marathon just trying to get into that little corner trying to decide whether or not I want to cover the back with something other than well, let's do the stencil. What do I have here? Oh, golly, that's so pretty. Or do I want to go that way? So I have... Maybe I do want to go that way. That way I have the two... borders in the corner okay so I have a little bit of room down here which will be taken up with this so I'm not overly concerned about that and I don't want to attach this sorry which essentially will be this so this will go under there because I've just remembered I changed my mind so this will go under here and this will go over the top I don't want to attach this at the bottom or the top uh, no I don't want to attach that until I've attached these I'm telling you so that you remind me because I'm just as likely to think that and then do it anyway I actually don't mind it like that with a little bit of paper showing at the top and the bottom. Hmm. I think I'm okay with that. So I probably need to cut this to size.
and actually I might do it I'm worried that that little piece of paper won't be sitting straight on here and it will throw my measurements out so if I do that and just using my paper clips because I don't have that many hands And then if I sit this underneath, and I'm going to take my pencil oh, and that's not very close to where I need it, so Okay, where's my plastic ruler? <laughs> well, that didn't work very well. Actually, I need this to be best laid plans of mice and men. I'm hoping Oh, I wonder if I can do that. Wondering if I can attach these two together with paper clips. And then sitting this in here. sure that's going to work either well we'll see how successful this is guys I don't really get a lot to play with so fingers crossed oh am I upside down Sure, I had that this way. No, that's right. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if my orientation was skewed. So maybe I can check that this way. I don't think I'm straight. I know what I can do. So I'm lining that up. I don't think my envelope is 100% straight, which is a little bit tricky, but... Hopefully this will get a better result. Okay. Fingers crossed. Well, that took some getting. Now 
How did we go? Looking pretty good. Yay. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to ink those. seems my seat has a rattle I don't know if you can hear that you know sometimes you sit on a seat and it just doesn't feel right from the beginning well that was me sitting down today <laughs> and now my seat is rattling at me as I think which is a little bit off-putting I'm just noticing that glue seal they used to keep the paper pad together has still not come away from the edge. Which I noticed earlier and then forgot. And I forgot this paper was one-sided on the cover, so I may need to stencil or something on the opposite side. Have a think about that. Do the back almost forgot this craft room is much noisier than my old space I'm still getting used to having the sounds of the traffic outside not that we live on a major road or anything but we do have a steady, steady flow of traffic and I probably hadn't noticed just how much until I've moved my craft room. Okay, so I have here Some stencils that I've made. I'm still trying to decide which one I'd like to use. I really love these Mandelas by Noir Art or Noir Art at 15 I think it is or dot 15. The link will be in the description below. I'm really sorry I didn't get it right. I don't think I have. Um, It goes that way. So what I'm thinking with the book paper is collaging and cutting it so that it sits above the postcode mark. This part here I'm thinking I will attach as a pocket so it's stationary and it covers this so that won't be visible. And then, like with Gales, this one here will be hinged to the top and flip up. So whatever is under here will be visible on the envelope. Whatever's here will be visible. So, oh, that is pretty, isn't it? That would be quite a significant part of that Mandela which I really like the idea of. 
wall I have this one which is a little bit larger and again it could work too in actual fact if I were to bring that up a little bit It's almost, I don't know if you can see that. Where's my metal ruler? It's almost a mirror image between the two. I could probably make it a mirror image if I scooch that up and bring that down. Oh, it looks like a stained glass window. That's really fun. I think I might use that one. I don't remember which one I used. I think I used the other one on... Now, what was it that I did create using the other one? I can't think. Oh, my fairy door. Channeling card. Okay, so... I had meant to, I'm going to use a tiny piece of tape to see if I can hold this in place until, I'm hoping this won't work against me, just want a tiny slither, I've already moved it, did you see that? And I'm just popping it against my jumper to take away some of the sticky because I don't want it to tack right down and not be able to lift I had meant to check the colours of these oh I do have pink in there I was looking at this piece and I'm thinking I thought I could use the pink but now I'm not so sure I need a scrap of paper okay sorry about that these are actually matte photo paper. They're left over from my fussy cutting. And I just want to get an idea of colour. And I'm just going to use this same brush that I use for my vintage photo because I only have one. And oh, I think that's quite pretty. Okay, so just checking to see what colours I have. Hm, I've just realised I have wild honey. Sorry, upside down, sideways. I didn't realise I had that. I was watching somebody use it just recently and went, oh, that would be a fun colour to have. <laughs> I haven't pulled out my coloured distress inks for quite some time. Can you tell? Okay, I'm wondering if this is going to be a little bit similar to this one. Oh, it's not far off. Oh, I think that marries quite well. And I'm looking at this old paper and I'm wondering if it's similar to the tones in here. Looking a bit drier. No, oh, but it's not too bad. It kind of does work, doesn't it? Okay. Setting me to my happy place right now. This is kind of fun. I'm just, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it work, but. But it could be interesting. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at my stencil at the minute. I'm going, how can I play with this and 
make this fun. So, I have antique linen here. I'm just looking at the yellow. And I do have a little bit of colour on my brush still, but... I actually think that's quite a good match. Okay, I think we just picked our colours. Now, how to use them. I'm going to use this. There wasn't as much excess colour on there as I thought. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I'll let you know what I'm thinking. I'm I'm trying to decide whether I want to dry brush using something like this, but it's a lot harder co to control, or whether I want a more controlled application, in which case I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. I'm kind of wondering if I want to apply with a little bit of water. But is that the look I want? I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I know I've got that in place, but I can work that out again. I think I think I need to get a scrap. Didn't say this process would be quick, did I? If I did, I fibbed. Um, scrap. Why is it I can never find scraps when I need them? Okay, instead of opting for a scrap, I've just grabbed myself a piece of normal photocopier paper or printer paper. And the reason I chose this was because I've decided it will be a similar texture and surface to the envelope. So... In actual fact, I could leave that there and trial this with my other stencil. And if I hmm, if I take this down, I might be able to go hands free while I have a play. Well, you know what I mean. So, can I scooch this out of the way without shifting it? Fingers crossed. Okay, make sure you're in camera. In actual fact, if I turn it that way, that might be easier for you to see. I'm just noticing I have a little bit of fluff on my stencil. And I still haven't shifted it. It's stuck. It'll be okay. So, I'm thinking if I work with a light colour first, and I'm just going to do this randomly and kind of build my colours. This idea is in line with. Can I pull it back out? With the background on this. And even the other piece. With with something like this where the colours are sort of variegated and built. Okay, so from there. kind of gone off the beaten track haven't I I went from creating a journaling card to playing really <laughs> I guess sometimes we just need to experiment with things 
Mm, I'm kind of liking where this is going. Just cleaning off my brush a little bit. And then, so this is my darker. It's almost a teal colour. So where do I want that? Can I go? I do have a little bit more control with this brush than I thought I would. It's not perfect, obviously, but it is better than I thought it would be. Oh, I think hubby's home. I'm not ready to stop playing. Okay, and cleaning off my brush again. And I think these little dots around the outside who knows I might be able to use this in the journal somewhere else Okay, and I do like the way that sort of blended on those leaves a little bit. Well, they're probably not leaves, but that's how they look to me. Okay, and then... I want to go back with the yellow, which is a much softer colour. Well, it was until I did that. Kind of like the way the yellow is cutting across the blue and the green there. Sorry, the green and the pink even. I'm distracted by hubby outside. Okay. I think I really like this guys. Let's take our stencil up and see what we have. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, that was fun. How pretty is that? Okay, so when I turn the camera on next, I will try my other idea and see which one I like best. Okay, that was lots of fun. Didn't quite go where I expected it to go, but I really enjoyed that. And I think that looks really pretty with those colours. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll see you soon, everybody. Happy crafting and bye for now.